In the previous video, we have seen how to install Talent and also we gave you a walkthrough on Talent Studio and various sections, uh, what it means and how do we uh, make use of repository, design window, and a palette window and a property. Uh, if you have not watched that uh, video, please go back and watch it and then come back to this. Uh, or if you are familiar, uh, we can just uh, uh, get started. All right, uh, in this video, you'll be learning about a uh, few miscellaneous jobs. Uh, we'll just start with uh, a sample uh, row generator component and then we'll uh, slowly enhance the job by including a tmap and having a log row, uh, just printing the um, input component as is and then we'll write it into a file uh, in output file uh, we will we'll use that csv output file into uh, another job uh, using that as an input and then we'll load the data into our database all right let's get started um, all right so in this uh, job uh, we will directly pull uh, there are two ways uh, which you can pull all right, first thing first, uh, as soon as you start uh, developing a talent job, uh, make sure you add some um, notes, note section. Um, so in order to put this, uh, just type in note and then hit enter. You will see this uh, note, just drag and drop and then type in some uh, description, basically uh, to let um, you know the reader know what this job does and uh, what is the purpose of this job. Here, a couple of formatting uh, and then um, you know adjustment uh, whether you want it left right uh, you can choose that formatting all right uh, without wasting much time let's get into um, this job so as we said uh, we'll be using a jo row generator component uh, this will randomly generate some data and then uh, we'll print it to the console so in order to do that um, so there are two ways uh, you can do that uh, either you can uh, just click on the uh, job design window and start typing t row generator and you'll be able to see just done make a double click and you see that um, component already um, in the uh, job design window the other option is uh, you can go to the palette and then just type in row gen and then hit enter you'll be able to see that component and you can uh, drag and drop so there are two ways uh, which you can um, bring in uh, tools uh, or the components uh, in your job window uh, I personally uh, like um, just by uh, typing here if you are familiar with the component name uh, just type in and then you will get it and then just double click on it uh, which will open this um, property uh, for this uh, component all you do is uh, click on this plus so this will create uh, columns uh, and then you can probably rename it um, I'll just call it as first name and then the last name and maybe we'll add um, city and then we'll add state so for these um, so there is a section called functions uh, and also there is a data type and um, there are functions um, so these are when you click on uh, this section you will get a drop down uh, by default, Talent provides these many um, ready-made functions uh, to use it. So for this demonstration purpose, I'll just go ahead and use um, this particular one, Talent uh, Data Generator, get first name. And for the second one, let's use the last name and we'll use uh, get some city and we'll also get some uh, state. All right, so these are, uh, as you can see, US, uh, these are just a random data uh, pulled from um, uh, some random uh, cities. So all, you, all it does is uh, gets this and then uh, gen pop generates data for these uh, columns. And then uh, under this section, um, if you want to delete any column, you have the cho choice uh, to do that. If you want to rearrange, you can move up or down. And there's a copy paste uh, available uh, and also we can uh, export and do the import uh, and then also you have a way to specify number of rows uh, to be generated if you want thousand uh, records to be generated you can put thousand and uh, once uh, this setting is over uh, you just click on preview and the preview just shows uh, 10 uh, but when you run the job you, you're going to generate thousand records so let's get um, you know let's see uh, how it looks all right so it looks like uh, this has generated some random 
first name last name city state all right so let's uh, use this um, we are good with this click ok and now you'll be able to see um, that uh, error is gone now if you want to see what uh, you have already um, entered just click on this you will be able to see uh, the schema all right so once this is done uh, you have two options um, the first uh, we will just um, uh, uh, just generate those um, uh, random data in the console so for that uh, you have a component called t log row so what it does is whatever data it comes from uh, the input row uh, it's going to print it on uh, the console so it has got a few settings here uh, if you look at this window there's a basic mode and there's a table mode and a vertical mode table mode is basically used to print the values in um, in a table format so let's use uh, this table format and all I'm going to do is you see this arrow mark uh, you can just do a, a left click and then just drop it on this so this is one way of doing it or you have a right click row and then the main click it so these are two ways you can uh, connect to this output component and once this is done let's see if uh, the schema is already copied uh, into my target or not yes so automatically this is copied uh, the schema uh, structure all you have to do is go to the run tab and then let's uh, run this all right so here we go so the output we see uh, table name last name city and street it's as simple as that and let's say um, you want to add some uh, extra features to it so for that um, we will be this is called as tmap tmap is one of the mostly used um, component in talent uh, this has got um, several feature uh, we will we will learn one by one in our um, hands-on uh, but for today uh, let's do this way um, we'll use uh, directly use tmap to insert uh, some date uh, date timestamp so for that again there are two choice either you can uh, 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 it's the quickest simple way is to just uh, click on uh, this arrow the pipeline and then just drag and drop here so now everything is uh, copied here and when you double click you'll be able to see your input so this is your input this is your uh, expression window this is your output window so we'll create one output here and you can call it as let's say um, you know insert all right so all all we have to do is so again there are two um, ways you can actually drop it either you do this right otherwise uh, what you can do is if your target is already defined you just click on auto map and all the links will be connected based on the um, the text and down below uh, you'll be able to hear here you will be able to see uh, the data type and then the length if, if there are any length uh, you can define define the length here if it is a uh, decimal you can put the precision and default values and everything and um, as we said uh, we wanted to include one extra field which says so let's say we are interested in putting record insert uh, time all right so in order to put this um, we will go to this expression builder and inside the expression builder you'll see uh, various categories and functions and help uh, there are available columns as well so what you do is um, so if you carefully see there is a data operation uh, where you can do all these uh, xtd fix and care my mathematical uh, are also available and numeric and then relational wherein you can put a uh, is null and not is null uh, condition and these are some of the string handling uh, functions available you can do btrim ltrim uh, you can do a index uh, left and length right so all these functions are available here uh, in this uh, talent string and right now um, uh, so these are the data generator as we have seen uh, in the uh, row generator 
So that's that. And now what we are trying to put is uh, the actual date, uh, the record insert date for uh, this output. All right. So here also you have uh, several choices to choose. Uh, you may want to you know carefully choose one. And uh, for now, I uh, will just say get current date. So this is the simplest um, function you can uh, use it. And all it does is returns the current date. All right. Now I'll just double click on it, uh, and you will get this get current date function. And then uh, you can click OK. And all you have to do is just uh, put this drag this column here in your output. And now we have. Uh, you can even uh, rename this. You can take this one out and then you can call it as record insert uh, date time. All right, so now if you see uh, currently it is string, you can still keep it as string, but I would like to keep it as date. Uh, and here are uh, the other uh, data types. You can uh, take a look when you start you know, working with the tool. Uh, so for now, I'll just put uh, date. And now that I have changed the expression, um, data type of the expression, we will have to uh, change the data type of my target column also. So that's all, right? Uh, once this is done, all we have to do, yeah, there's another uh, way you can specify the date pattern. So for now, I'll just uh, go ahead and click OK with this and click OK. All right, so now uh, my generator input is ready. I have added one extra column. You have um, a choice where you can just do a right click and then click on inserts and click here, right? And if you have update flow, you can create another output and then put it as, you know, output uh, as um, update, right? And so you can uh, do all those uh, sorts of um, thing here. Basically, this will act as a router, right? The first one is for uh, inserts and then the output, output as a update. You have a way to specify all your, um, settings here but we'll get into this uh, in the later uh, videos um, probably we'll have um, one full session on tmap itself all right so my basic job is now ready all it's doing it's generating some random uh, data set it is adding a record uh, insert timestamp and then we are printing it on the console all right let me go ahead and save it save is control s or you have a choice to do the save here uh, let's go to the run tab and click run all right see now um, yeah so we we are expecting another column but it's not printing so let's go ahead and look at it all right so now you have we see a, a column here since we have added uh, after our data flow is ready uh, all we have to do is just go to this and then do a sync what it does is now it is bringing the new column so this sync column is uh, really uh, helpful when you have a lot of uh, new columns uh, added, right? Um, now that sync uh, column is over, let's go to the run tab, run it again. And here you go. You have this uh, thing generated. And of course you can add timestamp um, uh, part as well. Uh, you can uh, very well play around with this expression to get um, get this date formatted so if you go to talent date again you have something called as format date in UTC in local uh, you can you can do several uh, combinations here uh, but for this tutorial uh, we'll just leave with that um, but as and when we move on um, with the new advanced uh, mapping uh, we will make use of uh, several such com functions to generate uh, appropriate data set. All right, uh, so now that uh, this is done, um, now we have everything uh, captured. So as a further enhancement, what uh, I will I would like to do is, um, uh, we'll write this data into a file, and then we will use that file in, uh, in a next job, using it, that as an input and write into a database. All right, so for that, uh, all we have to do is, um, uh, again, there are two options. Uh, you directly type in here if you are familiar um, with uh, the component name. Uh, all we have to do is t-file output. It gives several options. 
um, the one which uh, we will be working right now is just the delimited one double click and then bring it to the design window or you still have this way of doing it file and if you are not sure uh, how, how is it called you just type in file and you will see a section for file expand it and then the output and then from here you can choose um, the desired one and then just um, drag and drop here so this is the second way of doing it all right so now i would like to still see this output and also return to the um, my target file how do i do that so as you can see uh, the output um, arrow here all you have to do is uh, just do a left click on your mouse drag it and just drop it on your uh, target component so um, by default it's going to take the installation folder and if you see um, this file output delimited has got um, several sections one is the file name uh, row separator and then the field separator and then whether uh, do we have to print uh, the header or should we append the file or just overwrite each each and every time so for now um, we first we will see whether my uh, schema is copied or not all right all the schema is already copied and uh, copied automatically if you don't see any uh, column or missing anything just do a sync column uh, that will take care of all uh, the sync part all right so now i would like to have my um, delimiter as um, let's say comma or even you can say um, you know a carrot symbol right and i would like to write this into my uh, talent i have a folder called talent output uh, if you go to here i'll show you that so there's a talent input so it's always you know uh, standard uh, four standard folders you should be dealing always uh, the first one is the input and then the output and then there's a config and there's an archive so make sure you follow this standard it's always a good practice to have uh, appropriate folders uh, created in the beginning itself all right i want my um, talent job to write uh, that output into this output folder so for that i'll go back to the talent job again and i have specified c talent and then the output and we'll call it as uh, um, random data out put all right so now i want my header also to be printed right and then we'll just save the job and then we'll go ahead and run it all right so you can see thousand records were uh, generated thousand transformed and then thousand uh, written to the final target Let's go back to our Windows folder. Wow, the file is already generated. Uh, 